all ship junkies, ship watchers, ship spotters alike. I've got a treat for you today. A vessel I've been looking for for quite a while. A uh, bit of a rust bucket, really. It's the Algoma Guardian just coming into Port Coburn. So I'm out on the sea dude so I can get pretty close to it and try and get some nice shots. So uh, she's just entered the port right now. I think I heard her say she's going to Wharf 16. So she may be stopping here for a little bit. Um, I'm sure that's what I heard, but we'll find out in the next couple, couple of minutes for sure. But well, she's just coming in right now. The Algoma Guardian, built in 1987. It's still a great sight here on the Great Lakes. A bit of a rust bucket. Formerly an ocean-going vessel as well, uh, which Algoma acquired quite a few years ago. Look at the markings all over this thing. She had a few uh, bits of work done in the, in the past, a few paint jobs as well. A lot of wear and tear on this vessel for sure. I wonder how she got those scratches just there. Now these are my kind of ships. I love these big style bulky things. Yeah, she definitely looks like she's making her way over to the uh, Wall 16 here. She's kind of nosing in that way, so I did hear right then. Which is nice, because if it actually pulls up, I'll get the drone up again, and we'll get some shots of it going over it and everything like that. Otherwise, I would have gone ahead of it and got it going under the bridge. But we'll wait for it to pull up, and uh, we'll get some nice shots. That loud hum you can hear is coming from the uh, the mill behind me, where Frontenac quite often is seen. A uh, crew member there just getting the lines ready. This could be a really nice shot. It's 
this is going to uh, pull up right beside the cruise ship. We're going to have a really old rust bucket here. We'll say old, fairly like 40 odd years old. We have this rust bucket next to this really state of the art ship. It's going to be a cool shot. Alright, so there we have it behind me, the Algoma uh, Guardian, which was originally built in Croatia back in 1987. It was initially named o o a missile a missile I can't, I don't speak Croatian, a missile. Uh, the vessel was later then purchased by Viking Shipping Company in Bergen, Norway, and uh, renamed Govikan. It's like a Viking, go Viking. Algoma took hold of the vessel in 2009 and renamed it the Algoma Guardian. Alright, let's have a little look around her. Uh, sun's coming round, so I'm out to took a shot two after this. Now, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't this the vessel that was moored up for quite a bit and started this season a little later than most of the others? I'm sure I read that. Could be wrong. Just leave a note in the comments, as always, to prove me right or wrong. Okay, during the edit of this, I have just realized she was laid up, extended layup, uh, winter layup in uh, Goderich. Uh, not sure why, uh, but I believe she started her season very late, Loud maybe bike. August. So here we go, we go from an old looking ship from the 1980s to a very modern, luxurious cruise ship. Bulbous bow, just about breaching the uh, the waterline there. That's how you know she was a former salty. That kind of gives it away right away. All right, we'll come back in a bit and look at this when the sun comes round. Probably about another hour. <laughs> Time for coffee. Coffee break over, it's time to get back out on the water, and this is the Algoma Guardian. Uh, in the sun, except for the bow, because the sun is directly behind us still, so that's still in the shadow. Uh, but we see straight away the uh, the wear and tear on this vessel. Uh, it's endured over the years, uh, quite a bit of rust also showing. Uh, this is like the, uh, the rib you can see is basically caused by the going through the locks on numerous, numerous times. It's taking its wear and tear on the vessel itself. Now, we also have to keep take in mind, uh, this ship spent its first 23 years of its life on the ocean as a salty. Uh, built in Croatia, then it was over in Norway, it tra traversed between the North Sea and the Atlantic and so on, uh, before making its way here in 2010 uh, to be a regular site on the Great Lakes. But until that time, it was a salty. And there's a lot of work that has been done over the years, as you can clearly see, as we look down the hole. 